Hey everyone, Don Purdom. So just this morning I'm looking on Website Magazine and there's an enticing article titled something to the effect of your website is going to go away by 2020. Now, I have a critique of this because the whole thing is tied to Google. It's the whole premise behind it is, is that Google is going to be the driver behind websites going away because search declines are going to go down. You're going to find stuff on Yelp easier or other third-party massive sites that are going to drive traffic to your website. So here's why my personal opinion is they're wrong. I don't think your website's ever going to go away, and I think the demand for your business's website is always going to be there, and here's the reason why. Number one, people don't want to just connect with you on other entities. It's limited in terms of what they can learn about you. Uh, your about page can be a profound page. It ought to be one of the most visited pages on your website. The second thing is, if you follow my formula, meaning clarity plus focus equals execution that comes from Tony Jerry's book Strategic Acceleration and I've adapted it quite a bit but if you go back and think through that formula in the clarity section if you learn how to write for one person with one problem issue need or desire with one solution then what you're doing is, is you're providing an incredible amount of content that talks to a person that gives them a credible reason to read your content now Here's the second reason why I think that this article's premise is wrong. I think it's wrong because when we sit back and think about it, social media can propel our content when it's dynamic. There's this viral opportunity that always exists when you write for one person. I learned a long time ago that when I go to give a speech, if I'm in front of an audience of 20, 50, 100, 500 people, and I speak to just one person in the audience with that whole formula, right, thinking through one problem, one person, one solution, I'll get inevitably 20% of the audience that comes running to me saying, how did you know? How did you know this is what I was struggling with, Don? How did you know that this is what my need or my desire was? And it's not that I knew them personally. It's that I knew how to talk to them. Because any given group of people out there of the you know, 350 million people in the United States have a problem that you can solve. So here's the thing. Are you giving them a reason to engage with your content and to share it? Because your neighbor may know somebody who has that problem that will share that with their friends and co-workers and family members and it turns into business opportunities for you. So we have to remember that the internet is so much more dynamic than just Google. I think we have bought into this whole philosophy for the last 15 years that Google is the king of the internet. And the truth of the matter is, yes, it's a powerful player, but it's not the king anymore. Matter of fact, since 2008, the search engine has lost 50% of its market share year over end. And that's according to Roger McNamee, who's a major tech investor who understands what these numbers actually look like when they go into the analytics of these large search corporations. So the truth of the matter is, is that while Google's still the most dominant player, while they're still massive, they're not everything anymore. And this is why Google's diversified its business model and it's going into all these different arenas because they know that the writing's on the wall with the search engine. Now again, I'm going to state this and I want you to hear me clearly. That does not mean that Google's going away. It's not. It's always going to be big. It's just not what it once was. So with all of that, I don't think you need to worry about your business website. I don't, All the money that you're putting into it right now, continue to do what you're doing because the fact of the matter is that there are so many different reasons why people will continue to engage with websites. Maybe you could do some things that increase interactivity like create an app that's connected to your website and your blog so that when you add content to your website it updates the app automatically and people can engage with that technology on their mobile devices so it's not a it's not a one thing at the exclusiveness of another it's a matter of how do you tie it all together and use it holistically to help you reach your targeted audiences so that's my message of today your website is not going away by 2020, in my personal opinion. Thanks so much again. My name's Don Purdom. Thank you for watching. I'd love for you to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think your website's going to go away by 2020? I'd love to hear your personal opinion.